Hello everybody and welcome back to Sussex Farm. Um, now I don't know if you remember in the last video that um, I mentioned about uh, ploughing all these fields together and creating uh, one big field. Well these are the fields here in question and well I've got the ground modification tool on here at the minute uh, and the reason is is because I'm going to shape this actual uh, area before I plow it um, so what I want to put on here uh, so I'm not too sure how to actually use this remove grass yes Oop. yes ground modification meadow right let's have a look to what that looks like shall we if we just lower that down uh, no I don't, I don't want it to look like that I want it to look uh, right, let's see what now I don't want dirt original ground no, that will no. Cultivated, ploughed, sowed, sowed wide. Now, oh, grass field. What does that look like? Uh, hmm. Not asphalt, sand, concrete, pine needles. What about that? Well, oh, no, that just looks like the dirt underneath. Uh, grass. Oh, that looks uh, too green. Leaves. Oh, nah. Uh, rock. Mud. Paving slabs. Dirt. Meadow. Oh, it looks like it's uh, a meadow then going to look like a meadow right so what I want actually I'm only going to shape a little bit of this area here with the meadow because I want to delete the grass around it but actually I can do that with the plough anyway can't I so that should be okay um, so I want to where do I want to start Right, if I start where I actually, I've actually done that there, and if I lower that down, it should change. Yeah, it's, it's, it's deleting the grass underneath anyway. So I just want to go around here slightly. Around this way. Uh, cut off a little bit of this corner because I don't, the reason I'm uh, doing this like this is because I don't want the trees to become an issue with the combine um, because I am, like I said I am going to be planting a few more trees as well so we come around here uh, bring that around Go across there like that. Cut off that bit of grass. And I think that area there should be okay. So I don't really need to uh, I don't need to do the whole of that section where I haven't done because if I got if I just follow that round oh, I have to do there though don't I because there's nothing there at all oops right so because I don't, I don't want this to show up as dirt I want it to show up as uh, grass But what I might do at a later point, if this doesn't look very good once it's done, 
is uh, I might just plow this area again anyway and just plant some more seed in it but I'm not sure that might confuse the uh, the worker if I have a worker on the field it might just confuse it so I don't know um, because I don't know if this grass actually grows after it's been um, modified like this it may do but um, I'm not sure unless I change that to where it says did oh wrong button remove grass no will that uh, make a difference it's still actually removing the grass there isn't it yeah so it's still removing the grass even though it says remove grass no right go around see if there's anywhere else that I need to do see because the the grass area there I can just uh, yeah, I need to do this bit here I can just plow up to there and uh, <laughs> yeah I did get a comment from uh, Rufy about this video that um, he would he would want to watch it if I used a 240 plow but uh, yeah I'm not, I'm not going to use a 240 plow I would do if I was doing it uh, for myself and not video purposes maybe but the thing is because I'm doing it as a video and I will be time lapsing it as well so you're not going to have to sit there through the whole um, thing watching me do the whole thing in real time um, but if I used a 240 plow for the area that I'm actually planning on plowing uh, it would probably still be about two hours long even as a time lapse well it may be even longer actually but uh, yeah so that's the reason I'm not doing that if it was a smaller field then I would probably use a smaller plow but uh, yeah not one this size So you know, I think um, I think it might have been better if I uh, if I could do the uh, the grass grown on uh, on the texture there, but but like I say, I don't know if it's actually going to grow. It looks like that's uh, that's okay. So let's just go take this back to the yard. Uh, and go and pick up our plow and then start working on that but, um, I've got a little designated spot uh, that I use for this to store it I just in that little shed there lean to shed thing there behind me I don't know if it's going to change the texture underneath when I drop it off. But, uh, ah, yeah, it did. Okay, so if we. Badly. Doesn't matter. It's only a slight little bit. Uh, right, where's my plow? There it is. Yeah, I've got me the uh, John Deere Ripper plow there. 15 metres. So it shouldn't take too long to uh, actually plough this field or um, I might be wrong on that I mean I've been wrong in the past so <laughs> whenever you think the job oh nowhere near that am I whenever you think a job's going to be really quick it always takes a lot longer to do ok so that's that Now I'm not actually sure the best way about going around doing this, um, where to actually start. Um, 
because obviously all this bit in the centre here needs to be done but I want these fields to be the same um, the, sa the same uh, I want them to be like square so um, I think I might start somewhere about here um, and I am going to use GPS just to uh, just so I can get it perfectly straight um, but yeah I will come back up here and I will square it off a little bit and if, if, I, if I do mess up I, I've got the ground modification tool that I can um, I can sort it out with that right uh, no it's not 15.4 meters it's only 15 meters but what I'm going to do is put the working with oh, the work. and it's only 15 so if I do 14.4 that should be fine and then we'll put that from there. No, actually, I'm going to have to do 15, aren't I? Because otherwise, the. I do automatic again. Yeah, 14.9 I'll do. Because if I, if, I, if I do it too much, it'll, um, it'll leave too much of a gap and it, it'll be to overlapping too much on the other side so if we turn around now and activate oh, can't see where I'm going activate my GPS that straightens up as soon as it gets straight I'll do it from there right what is it to uh, allow create fields number nine? Okay, we'll lower that down. Yeah, so all I'll do is I'll just go from the from where it started there because for some reason I don't know why, but uh, when when you put it onto allow create fields, it does, at the back there it starts and uh, goes a bit silly. And I don't, under I don't understand why it does that. I mean, because all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outline of the field, and then I'm going to um, do the bits on the inside that I've do uh, that I need to um, to plow with the create fields, and then I will. Um, I will turn off the allow create fields and then just go over it properly with the whole uh, the whole field as a uh, one go. If that makes any sense. If not, it'll all become clear. <laughs> I hope. Right. So, where do I want to go to? I go on to the grass area, but I don't want to go too far. Um. Because, like I said, I don't want these uh, trees to be an issue. Uh, maybe there. So there's a tree further down, but I'm not sure how far out that comes. Okay, that should be fine there. So, if we lift, thank you, and then go over to here and get the GPS set up going the opposite direction well the 90 degree angle turn thank you now these trees are becoming um, a bit of a pain <laughs> see where I'm going okay so turn there now, I don't want to do it too 
close because I don't want uh, don't want it to overspill onto the other one. But like I said, I can always uh, clean it up afterwards. Right, um, rotate 90 degrees. Uh, bring it closer to me there. There we go. Uh, I think that looks about right to me, I think. Uh, maybe if I bring that around a little bit there because I don't want it to uh, go too far out into the right. I'll lower that down. Uh, see if I if I'd have gone if I'd have gone right up to the edge, it would have uh, put even more on. But luckily, it's uh, not too much. But like I say, I can always um, go around and neaten it up afterwards with the uh, allow create fields. Um, no, not allow create fields with the ground modification tool. Yeah, it's still very early in the morning for me. It's only like uh, five past six in the morning for me. I've been up a uh, couple of hours, not been able to sleep because of the heat. It's uh, not very good. Right, so I don't want to go too far down, do I? Uh, I about all there because I want to go in line with that that field uh, the field edge just there so if I try and spin around try and spin around and then do the 90 degrees bring it there yeah that should be fine and then line myself up with it yeah I hope this uh, <laughs> I hope this turns out okay after uh, making a big deal of it oh wait there where am I going there we go Got a bit worried there, I thought I'd uh, gone too far. Right, so. Burst up a little bit. Ooh. Ah. Yes, my driving skills haven't improved much. If any. <laughs> right, so oh, I need to be further back there. I? I do need to go further back. It's not. Why is it not turning? Steering wheel. Thank you. There we go. Turn. Right, so if we start that up now. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it from there I think because it can uh, it can be cleaned up later. And yeah, as you can see it's going to be quite a big field. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in here yet, though. But, um, it'll be something. Uh, ah, where am I going to go to on this side? I make sure I line up uh, properly on this side. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a little bit more up the top. Or, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually narrower on this end anyway. 
than it is up there because of the, the roundabout there. So, if we go to there, a little bit further, there, yeah, that might be a little bit too pushed up, it might be a little bit too far out for um, up the top, so it looks like I'm going to have to, uh, oh, stuck on the hedge. <laughs> There we go. Do it that way instead then. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have to uh, tidy up a little bit at the top up there. Uh, 90 degrees. Uh, that might be a bit too far actually. Damn steering wheel. <laughs> right, if we go from here, that should be okay. Activate the GPS. Yes, bleep, bleep. And uh, reverse back a little bit, all lower. And yeah, once I've uh, once I've done the outskirts here, the actual outline, what I'll do is I'll go around and uh, tidy up the uh, shape, the centre of it. That will be the next bit. So uh, yeah, this is. I'm going to start. Uh, time lapse here in, in a second so uh, once I've just leveled up with this it's not too far away I don't think yeah, it's uh, not that bad there we go. There. slowly slowly yeah, the um, I do create quite a few of these fields. For, um, they, they sometimes they turn out okay, but it's uh, just a little bit of trial and error. But yeah, I'm going to just start my time lapse here now, and I'll uh, get back to you when it's almost done.
okay then so uh, we've done most of it now just got to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of cleaning up on the uh, on the corners for um, I'll, I'll do that off camera anyway I've got another couple of little pieces up here that I just need to uh, to clean up and then that will be the field finished but um, I'm just uh, after, before I uh, do the do the, do the corners and stuff. Well, well I'm not. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll do that off camera anyway. But what I will do is I will plant some uh, some trees. I'll turn off this GPS. We don't need that now. Um, I'll plant. I'll plant a few more trees because there's like four or five trees there. But um, I'm going to plant. I'm going to plant a few more. I'm going to plant them on uh, on the actual rocks. Or, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put any uh, closer to the edge of the field. And you might have noticed a couple of times that my uh, plow didn't lift when I was turning. But luckily, I turned off uh, the yellow create fields, and it didn't cause a problem. For, uh, yeah, it's. But I'm not sure why. With my Cytec side panel, sometimes it doesn't uh, respond properly. But sometimes it it sort of does a double click as well. So you press the button to lower the implement or raise it, and it, if it's lower, if it's low, then it raises it and then puts it back down again. <laughs> And it can be a bit of a pain sometimes, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the field ploughed now. So uh, yeah, I I like the look of that actually. It's quite nice, I think. I know there's a lot of people who. Um, who don't like having trees and islands in the middle of fields, but I I I, I don't mind it to be honest. Right. Let's go to the shop and buy some trees. Let's see how much these trees are. I'm not sure to be honest. So I don't usually plant trees. Uh are they implaceables? Uh Seven thousand pounds. Wow! I didn't realise they were that expensive. Uh, should we put a couple of oaks? Uh, well, it's got no leaves on it. Uh, yeah, there. Ah, that's better. Oh, so they're already oaks that we have there then. Okay, so we'll uh, try a couple of these. We'll make it like a nice, dense little forest. Uh, a couple of maple trees, maybe. Okay, let's spin around. Let the dog see the rabbit. I don't think they might be a bit close. And now that should be fine. Uh, spin around and see what the other side's like. Oh, it's completely bare here. Where's my mouse disappeared to? There it is. Uh, 
Let's have a couple more oak trees, shall we? Oh, where's he gone? Not sure if these type of trees grow in this area, but uh, they do now. <laughs> But I do, I do know that the uh, the author Alien Jim is um, with the, with the latest update. He did delete a lot of trees, uh, but I'm not sure if that's the trees from um, the ones that you can cut down yourself. Or a few more birch trees. Where's he gone? Oh, looks really uh, really thick in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure why he cut the trees down. Maybe it was causing lag. I hope this isn't going to cause a lot of lag as well. By me doing this. Right. Have another one there, shall we? Right. Um, yeah, I think that might be. That may be enough. <laughs> I, don't, I think I'm going a little bit overboard there, but uh, oh, actually, there's none, none here at all, is there? So we'll go back to the maple, I think. Oh, where's he gone now? There we are. Go in there, sneak one in there. There. Yeah, I think uh, a few people might think I'm crazy. But, um, yeah, I think uh, that's not too bad actually. Nice little forest. And there's the old birch, silver birch. And what I'll do is I'll give you an aerial view as well. So we can get rid of that as well, shall we? So we get a proper aerial view here. I did actually plan on doing a, a before and after shot, but uh, I forgot to do the before shot. <laughs> right, let's uh, move back a little bit, move over that one. Yeah, that's really, really dense inside that. Uh, inside that island. I think I might have gone a little bit overboard there. But yeah, that's what it's... Uh, what it looks like. Actually, I might use that as a thumbnail. Uh, I can't get all of it in. <laughs> I can't go up high enough. Ah, there we go, if I... a little bit further. See, because that actually gives you the scale um, of the field as well, because the JCB is still in the field. So that gives you, like, uh, a scale to what it is. Um, oh, I just tried to do a screenshot there and it's not letting me. Hello, there we go. Uh, right guys, that's, uh, ooh, down to us with a thump there. I'm going to call this uh, video to an end now. Um, and I want to thank you all for watching. And if you uh, like the video, 
please give it a big thumbs up and uh, any comments and suggestions are uh, welcome and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get um, a notification when I put up another video and um, until the next one it's bye from me